Hi, Colin. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the online geometry course works. So this is the Schoology page that you should be part of now. Um, these are all buttons, so don't click on the picture, click on the actual word. So Mid-Continent Library offers tutoring help, um, so they actually allow you to go in, and if you have a question, there's a one-on-one -on -one and an actual person that will help you. Desmos is a graphing website that may help you, um, graphing calculator app. If you ever need a one-on-one -on -one conference to meet with me, you just click on this. It'll bring you to a Google form. You're going to fill out that Google form, and then I'll get a notification that you filled it out. Uh, make sure to put on there what you want to talk about and that um, who you are. Um, okay, so uh, Khan Academy is just another resource for extra videos and extra support if you need help. Our online book is right here, so if you ever need to access that, this, just click there. And then these are just um, links to each of the folders so you don't have to scroll down. So we have done a beginning of the year folder. We've done a radicals review and quadratics review folder, but we're actually in unit one right now. So I set my folders up um, weekly. They, they are released to you on Wednesdays, and then they are due usually by the next Wednesday. Some, some of the due dates may differ a little, so make sure you're looking at the due dates. So for instance, this is where I want you to start week five. You're going to click on that week. Um, I will put a video in here that tells you exactly what to do this week, and then I will also do a write-up of what to do this week. So what I recommend is that you watch the video and then you go to this write-up. Um, it's just going really slow right now. Um, go to this write-up and print that off. And then as you do something, check it off and then go on from there. I don't know if that's going to pull up or not. Oh, there it is. So this is everything that you would have to do. Um, since this is the week I want you to start in. Um, so then I record videos of my notes. So here's two notes for one section, and then there's normally a homework assignment. There is a small project in this folder, and then there is a review. You will actually have a quiz next Wednesday, okay? So all these assignments from the review up this week are actually due by midnight on Tuesday so that you're ready for the um, quiz on Wednesday. I know that you're transferring from Mr. Cleaney. I think we're pretty close. So you should have gotten 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, with him, and then 1-3 is in this folder. If you need a refresher on 1-1 one, one, and 1-2, one, I'll show you where to go here in a second. Um, there will be a quiz Wednesday. I will send an email out later to explain what you need to do on that quiz. There's also one more set of notes and then a homework assignment. So that's this entire week, what you need to finish between Wednesday to Wednesday. So week four has 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, information in it. So I've exempted you from these homework assignments, anything before this week. Um, you're exempt from essentially, but there are videos in here if you want to go over those videos. So your transfer grade was about a 93%. So I went through my grade book and I put in um, the 93% for every assignment that we've done so far. However, starting for week five, those assignments are whatever you score on them. So if you don't do them, they will go in as zeros. If you do really well on them, then they'll go in as those scores, okay? Um, so I'm hoping that that makes a little bit of sense on how I set up my class and when I release folders. So Wednesday around noon, and then they'll be due about the next Wednesday. I um, upload grades every Wednesday into PowerSchool. So if you turn something in late, don't expect it to be in PowerSchool until the next Wednesday. So that's why it's really important for you to turn stuff in on time so you can see your actual grade at all times. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I will talk to you later. Thanks.